so this is my book. This is the paperback proof for it. It's a very lovely proof. It's got little folding covers and a story about why I wrote Golden Boy. Um, I never planned to be a writer. Um, but this subject really, really spoke to me. It's about uh, a 16-year-old intersex individual. So intersex can be all sorts of different um, conditions. But uh, for Max, he was basically born chromosomally neither male nor female. And um, for him, it, it's not really a problem. He grows up in a really progressive, liberal family in a nice middle-class community, and they all love each other very much. Um, but then a, a kind of old friend turned enemy comes and um, assaults him in a really sad and, and horrific way. Um, and, but it, it evolves into, I mean, his, his ideas about who he is change and his gender change. And he starts to think, well, do I want to be a boy? Do I want to be a girl? Do I have to choose? Um, I think intersex is a really interesting subject to talk about because there are so many things um, that it says about how we feel about our identities, how gender impacts our identities, and also our society. And, um, and also there's, there's a ton of human rights issues involved with, with intersex because doctors advocate um, uh, surgeries to turn babies into boys or girls that can completely strip their fertility away or disfigure them. And um, slowly, slowly, we're getting some more laws in England surrounding that. But there are still cases, um, particularly in the States recently, uh, where children have been you know, turned into a boy, basically, and, and they figure out that they really want to be a girl. So <clears throat> it's really interesting. I, one of the things that I did on purpose when writing the book was set it in a very nice middle-class community next to Oxford that everybody could relate to and everyone's really attractive and you could fall in love with anyone in the book um, because I think it makes it super accessible to people and um, it's published in a ton of different countries and so far what, what I've been hearing anyway is that um, people think it could be set in my community this could happen to my child what if it did and I didn't want to set it on the periphery of society because I feel like intersex, trans and gay people are really, when people write books about them, they sort of write books about them like living as prostitutes and crack dens and they, <laughs> that's not where gay people are born into or intersex people are born into. It's, you know, well, always straight couples or people who are in denial. So, um, so those, those are the people I wanted to reach. 